Back in 2019, the Regional Council was introducing PC1, or there was a lot of talk about PC1. And so as a way to learn about that, we went to a couple of different um, workshops and the Council put on one for risk mitigation. And we realised that there were lots of farmers that were concerned and confused just like we were. And out of that, we also realised that if we got together as a group and felt like we were doing something positive towards trying to take back control, that would be a way that we would feel much more positive and feel like we weren't at the beck and call of what was happening from a legislative point of view. Everybody just felt like this stuff was just getting on top of us and we had no way of controlling what was coming through. So we started this group so that we could basically know what we were talking about and then start pushing back and giving the information back from the bottom up and trying to stay in control of our own destiny. Biggest change is the fencing of waterways and the bush blocks. Yeah, moving towards um, planting up streams and what have you. As a dairy farmer, we've had to fence off our waterways a lot earlier than sheep and beef and um, this group has allowed us to all look at the catchment as one as opposed to us and them. As a group, um, everyone can see that everyone's working towards actually the same goal. The catchment group, I think, is a real opportunity for everyone to work together to benefit everyone. So since we got together a little bit more formally, we focused on getting our farm environment plans done. Once we have the farm environment plans, we can build our strategic catchment plan. And we want the strategic catchment plan because we want to apply for funding and get support from all the organisations so that we can really affect um, our total area. My main reason for getting involved in this group is to leave the environment in a better state than it has been in and um, do a bit for the community. Our goal is to next to get out into the community and let people know what we're doing. So far it's been led by just genuinely interested people from all walks of life, from lifestyle blocks to beef and sheep farms to dairying to um, marae groups. So um, it's, yeah, we have a good broad range of uh, support so far and once, once we can get out and tell people what we're doing I think we will have a much stronger base um, to carry on with. It's also benefited because I feel like we're back in control. Like we're actually doing something that we know is contributing to the water quality and the environment improving and therefore you feel less vulnerable to what might be decided from a legislative or regulatory point of view. We've really enjoyed um, everything we've done here. We've sort of come in with a mindset that we wanted to really make this something that we could be proud of. So we've put a lot of, invested a lot of time and money into it and we're still not there. Um, I don't think you're ever there with any of these things like farm environment plans. We have one but it's a moving document that we're adding to and growing all the time and as you learn more and do more that's expanding all the time as well. I feel really proud. I feel proud that we've been able to bring a group of people together and we've changed the conversation from just right, really worried about rules and regulations and how to cope to positive, fun, relaxed, look at what we are doing, look at where we're going. Like, like there's just a massive change in mindset of people. To me it's a no-brainer. One, it's a way to get involved in your community and just feel like part of a community. But beyond that I think you'll just feel like you take back some control and you have much better understanding of what's happening. Do it. <laughs> get involved in the catchment group, um, you will gain way more than you will, um, you'll, you'll put into it. Through this I've met a whole lot of people that I would never have met uh, that live ne nearby, that um, yeah, we're all busy and we all live our own lives, but it's something that as a community we can all um, sink our teeth into and get involved with. <laughs>